بھائی نقصو ہے مانا ہوں میں باد آہ دے اینڈ اف دے ہیو بروکن دیئر اوتھس آفٹر دیئر کل مین آفٹر دیئر کنکلوشن من باد آہ دے ہیں وہ تانو فی دین فی دین کم اینڈ دے اٹیک یور دین فقات لو امت الکفر Now this word is very important. Aymat al-Kufr. As I told you, there was no formal government, no headquarter of any government. But the Aymah of the Arabian Peninsula lived in Mecca. So your mission, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and you must also understand, those who believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his mission will not be accomplished until Mecca is cleared of shirk and kufr. And the deen of Allah is made supreme over there. فَقَاتِلُوا عِمَّتَ الْكُفْرِ They are the عِمَّتُ الْكُفْرِ They are the custodians of Kaaba. But actually they are the عِمَّتُ الْكُفْرِ In the whom ka- لَا اَمَانَ لَهُمْ They have no oath, oaths. Their oaths cannot be trusted. In the whom لَا اَمَانَ لَهُمْ لَا لَهُمْ يَنْتَهُونَ But you know if you go advance and pose a threat, maybe they desist. And see the exhortation. Oh, Muslims, you don't want to fight those who broke their pledge, broke their treaty. And they are the people who decided to expel Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the messenger of Allah. وَهُمْ بَدَوُوكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً And they started. They were the first. And they were the first actually in two ways. Persecution, they started at Mecca. Definitely. They started the persecution. And Muslims, they took the persecution for 12 long years without any retaliation. Number two, a planned attack at, you know, of an army, organized army, which was coming over to attack Medina. That was for the first time from their side at Badr. Hum badahukum awala marra. Attaqshawna hum. Now this is, you know, the piercing guys asking a penetrating question. What has happened to you, O Muslims? You are hesitating from attacking Mecca. Attaqshawna hum. Do you fear them? فَاللَّهُ أَحَقُّ وَأَنْ تَخْشَاهُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Allah is, has greater right that you must fear Him if you are real Mu'min, if you really believe in Him. فَلَا تَخْشَاهُمْ وَخْشَوْنِي Don't fear them, fear me. قَاتِلُوهُمْ يُعَذِّبُهُمُ اللَّهُ بِعَذِيكُمْ Fight against them. Allah will chastise them, punish them. بِعَدِيكُمْ At your hands وَيُخْذِهِمْ And he will humiliate him وَيَنْصُرْكُمْ And he will help you عَلَيْهِمْ Against them وَيَشْفِ صُدُورَ قَوْمِ مُؤْمِنِينَ And he will relieve the hearts of the believing people What was the relief? وَيُزْهِبَ غَيْضَ قُلُوبِهِمْ And he will take from their hearts the rage There were Muslims, weak Muslims, who couldn't migrate. They were still being persecuted over there with wounded hearts. So they had all the emotions against the kuffar. وَالْمُسْتَلَّفِينَ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ وَالْنِسَائِ وَالْبِلْدَانِ وَالَّذِينَ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا أَخْرِجْنَا مِنْ هَذِهِ الْقَرِيَةِ الظَّالِمِ أَهْلُهَا They were people over there. So you know their hearts are bleeding. They have all the feelings against these people. You don't want to go against them, fight against them. Allah wants that he wants to give the relief to these people and you know the rage of their hearts. Allah will accept the the Repentance of whomsoever he likes. Wallahu alimul hakim and Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. 
ام حسب تم ان تترکوا ولما یعلم الله الذين جاهدوا منكم ولم يتخذوا من دون الله ولا رسوله ولا المؤمنين وليجا did you think that you will be left alone and up till now allah has not seen who amongst you are ready to make jihad for the cause of allah and who are those who didn't take anybody except allah and his messenger and mu'minin a friend a trusted friend we read the ayah in surah al-maida انَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Again, وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَإِنَّ حِزْبَ اللَّهِ هُمُ الْفَائِزُونَ So now this is a test. Although they are your relatives, they are sitting over there. You don't want that any harm should come to them. But this is the test. If they are not accepted Islam, if they rejected Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, You shouldn't have any soft corner in your hearts about them. Allahu khabirum bima taamalun. Allah very well knows what you are doing. Ma kana lil mushrikeen yamuru masajid Allah shahidin ala anfusihim bil kufr. These mushrikeen have no right to inhabit the places of the worship of Allah. When they are testifying against their own selves that they are kafirs. They say we don't believe. We reject the faith. Even then, they should inhabit Mecca. They should be the custodians of Kaaba. How are you ready to reconcile to it? Ma kana lil mushrikeen an yamuru masajid Allah shahidin ala anfusin bil kufr ulai ka habita tamalu. These are the people that all good deeds of theirs have gone in vain. Just a pe just a period. They have been looking after Kaaba, yet yeah, no doubt they have been serving the pilgrims who come over there. No doubt, all these things were good. They go to their credit, but all their credit has been multiplied by zero and became zero because they rejected the faith. But fin nari hum khalidun, and they are going to dwell in the fire forever. انما يعمر مساجد الله من امن بالله واليوم الاخر only those people who believe in allah and the last day waqam salat wa at zakah and establish prayer and paid zakah they are entitled to it that they should inhabit the places of the worship of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa lam yakhsha illa allah another quality of theirs is that he doesn't fear anybody except allah میجنگ equal to the person who has belief in allah and the last day and who has been making jihad for the cause of allah la yastawuna inda allah these things are not equal they are not equal in the eyes of allah they might be the custodians but they have lost all their credit wallahu la yahdi alqaum azalimin allah is not going to forcibly guide these people who are the evil doers alladhina amanu wa hajaru wa jahadu fi sabilillah bi amwalihim wa anfusihim azabu daratan inda allah those who came to believe then they made hijra immigrated and they made jihad strived to their utmost for the in the way of allah with their belongings and their lives azamu daratan inda allah they have they are very much higher up in ranks in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa taala wa ulaika humul faizun and actually it, it are they who are going to be successful triumphers yubashiruhum rabbuhum bi rahmatin minhu their lord gives them the glad tidings bi rahmatin minhu 
that they will have mercy from him what is one in and he will be pleased with them what jannatin lahum fiha na'imun muqim and the garden in which they will have all the lasting bliss khalidina fiha abada they will remain in that forever forever inna allah indahu wajrun azim verily only with allah is the great reward ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la tattakhidhu aba'akum wa ikhwanakum awliya in istahabbu al-kufra 'ala al-iman oh you who believe don't take even your fathers or your brothers as friends or protectors in istahabbu al-kufra 'ala al-iman if they have preferred kufr to iman they might be your fathers they might be your sons they might be your brothers but now the cut with the sword of islam has cut these relations if they loved and preferred to remain in kufr you have no connection with them all your relations gone very strong are ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tattakhidhu aba'akum wa ikhwanakum awliya in istahabbu al kufra 'ala al iman wa may yatawallahum minkum fa ulaika hum al zalimun and whosoever from amongst you takes friends makes friendship with them thinks them to be your protector or tries to protect him fa ulaika hum al zalimun and they are also among the evil doers بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم